Something's up. The big one's packed the cupboards with food. Much more than I can eat by myself. Hey, maybe she's getting another cat. With any luck, it'll be a Tom. A live-in mate. That'll save me from sneaking out at night. Weeks later, and still no joy on the feline companionship front. But the big one's home a lot more. She's packing cupboards again. This time, with piles of paper rolls. I remember having fun unraveling one of those things when I was young. The novelty soon wore off, though. As a toy, it's only suitable for kittens. Hey, maybe she knows something I don't. Am I finally expecting? No sign of the pitter-patter of tiny paws yet, but the house is bustling. Both the big one and the little one are here all day long. My saucer's always full, and they keep my bowl topped with tasty treats. Hey, I hope they aren't fattening me for slaughter. Surely not. Then again, they are carnivores. When I play with a mouse, I enjoy lulling it into a false sense of security before swallowing it. Better be on my guard. Things are getting tense around here. The little one's throwing tantrums and the big one can't control her. Unless this is all just an act to cover their evil designs on me. The big one started hiding her face with a mask, but I still recognize her. She spends an excessive amount of time brewing dark brown liquid. While she's out of the kitchen, I'll take a quick sip from her mug. Ugh, bitter. There is no way I drink enough of the poison for it to be fatal. I bet she's refining the recipe to make it more palatable. Then she'll spike my milk. After I've given birth, of course, so she can make a feast of my whole family. I'll never be a mother. I don't have an estrus cycle. Something's wrong with my reproductive organs. There can't be a cure. The big one takes me to the vet regularly. I'm sure they've tried everything to help me conceive. I've been unfair, accusing them of seeking my harm when all this time they've been praying I'd become pregnant. That explains the extra nourishment, the toy paper rolls, even the little one's tears. They both look miserable. Obviously, heartbroken at my infertility. I'll comfort them, brush my fur against their legs, tickle their cheeks with my whiskers. After all they've done for me, this is the least I can do.